Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Lakers versus the Celtics tonight. And I have to say, I am very, very excited to say that this is the best game-winning shot from the Lakers that I have ever seen in quite some time. Rajon Rondo returns to the Boston Celtics after being there throughout his career, winning a championship, all-star appearances, and just basically making a name for himself in Boston. And obviously, he's a Laker. He, you know, he came to Boston, played, of uh, you know, his his ass off. I mean, the guy was motivated tonight, just trying to prove to to the point that he is. The guy who basically not really made the Celtics, but, you know, delivered them a championship in 2008, which, ironically enough, was against the Los Angeles Lakers in company of Kobe Bryant and the likes of uh, Derek Fisher and you name them, Andrew Bynum, you name them all, Pau Gasol, everyone uh, at the time. And obviously, um, the Lakers came back with that, with back-to-back championships including one of them in Boston and obviously it's just one of those moments where you just have to recognize the historic um, rivalry between the, the the Lakers and the Boston Celtics they all won championships more championship than any um, organization in the NBA uh, obviously the Lakers I believe they have 16 tying with uh, the Celtics so obviously it's just one of those moments where you have to recognize the greatness of two organizations and the ownership and also uh, players who came to play on every night basis uh, and just battling each other from the from the likes of uh, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and uh, Bill Bill Russell and you know uh, Will Chamberlain, you name them all. I mean, those great legends made a name for themselves and basically built a rivalry uh, with each other. And just basically, they're in the history books of being one of the greatest rivalries in NBA history and in general in sports history. So overall, I had to just you know talk to you guys about uh, the Lakers how they played now obviously in the first and second quarter they basically struggled a little bit uh, you know uh, with the whole rumors of being them being traded and you know obviously the trade deadline ended today uh, it's still it still holds true to the uh, to the young Lakers and basically the rest of the uh, the uh, the Lakers squad and obviously um, it, is, it still holds to them very deeply, but at the end of the day, they had a job to do, and they actually uh, competed very hardly out there. Uh, sure, they struggled at times from, uh, you know, from the free throws and shooting those threes as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, in the third quarter, they came back with a, I believe, uh, at the end of the uh, the third quarter, they were up by seven points. And then there were some moments in the fourth quarter that it looked like that the Lakers were not managing uh, the game, and it looked like the Boston Celtics were going to win it all. But then somehow, you know, at at some miracle, a former Celtic in Rajon Rondo at final seconds left into the fourth quarter, at the end of the fourth quarter, came up with the mid-range shot to win it all at the buzzer. And obviously, it's an emotional night for Rajon Rondo, but at the end of the day, the Lakers got a W at um, Boston against the Celtics. And obviously, um, like I said in, in this video, with the whole rumor mill of them, of the Lakers being linked to, uh, but you know, in the trade rumors with... Uh, the Pelicans for Anthony Davis and um, and obviously uh, it wasn't the case and obviously the Pel the Pelicans just played the uh, the Lakers so badly to the point they embarrassed the organization and just really made a fool of them uh, to be honest and it's just really unprofessional on their part and you know it's just one of those type of moments where you know 
you know, it, it is what it is. You just have to move on and obviously just hope for better uh, opportunities that will come their way for the organization as it concerns the Lakers. And obviously the Celtics play a lot in this when it comes to that sort of situation with the uh, Pelicans and Anthony Davis. And we just have to see what will be that situation once uh, the season ends and obviously with uh, – um, you know, with uh, the Pelicans, what they will do uh, trade-wise when it comes to the Celtics, what sort of offer they'll put out there, and will a trade actually happen in the summer? And if it does, will the uh, the type of talks uh, and public, uh, you know, uh, announcements that were made in these last couple of weeks with uh, Rich Paul and AD saying that he's just going to sign a one-year not sign. I mean, stay with the, a, a, a rental with a particular team, whether if it's the uh, the Celtics or somewhere else, and potentially become a free agent in 2020, uh, uh, one, and just decides to join the Los Angeles Lakers there. But it still remains to be seen if that sort of situation does go down and happen, if it rains true, and you just never know. Uh, anything can change in the NBA in certain situation with players, so um, it still remains to be seen. But overall. Uh, you know, when it comes to the Lakers, how they play tonight, um, there were some moments they did struggle, but at the end of the day, in the fourth quarter, they came out uh, aggressively, and they were basically shooting threes like crazy out there. I mean, I haven't seen that type of performance out of them when it comes to shooting threes uh, probably since, like, forever. I mean, I, I, I can't remember a time that they shoot threes like that uh, throughout this season. I'd have to say this is probably the best three points, uh, three-pointers, uh, that I ever seen from the Los Angeles Lakers this season and uh, obviously um, you know with Kyle Kuzma basically sealing the deal in the fourth quarter uh, by you know, leading the Lakers just by one point at the end of the uh, final seconds uh, left in the uh, fourth quarter which really helped the Lakers chances to basically take the lead and manage the game with the help of Rajon Rondo so uh, kudos to uh, Kyle Kuzma being the true number zero of tonight of tonight's game. Uh, what I mean by that, I mean like the number of, on his jersey. You know, with Jason Tatum having number the number zero, who is the better uh, type of uh, young uh, forward who can be a a, a potential uh, superstar in this league. And I can honestly say Kyle Kuzma is that type of guy. Um, and you know. Um, obviously, the comparisons between those two is very similar, but I have to give the edge to Kyle Kuzma just being a fan of him. So uh, great job tonight for uh, Kyle Kuzma. LeBron James obviously continuing to show the dominance on every given night. Uh, sure, he has been struggling with injury-wise and just uh, you know trying to rest in more games and obviously... Um, it has been really taking the toll of this Lakers team, but at the end of the day, um, you know, LeBron James just came to play, and obviously he averaged a, a triple double tonight. And I'm not sure what the exact score is that he averaged, but you know, it's very significant. I believe he averaged maybe like 20, maybe 25 points, something like that. Uh, but he did average a triple double out there tonight. So great job from tonight from um, LeBron James. But overall, the Los Angeles Lakers, they were aggressive, and especially from KCP, who I believe he was the main source of the Lakers' success uh, in the uh, for them not getting a bad, uh, a bad uh, blowout game that they were almost about to get in the second quarter. I believe he just, you know, came out of nowhere by the shooting those threes and just really helping the Lakers uh, manage the game to the point that they can just possibly just uh, be down by, I don't know, like six or, or eight points. So uh, kudos out there also from KCP. But overall, the Los Angeles Lakers, they came in the fourth quarter, uh, played aggressively in the final seconds left in the fourth quarter and just really uh, played very aggressively to the point that they sealed the deal at the buzzer with the help of Rajon Rondo against his former team. And it was just something to really um, be very grateful of. And obviously, it was just a really great night. And obviously, I, I, I was in the edge of my seat when it came to the final seconds and those timeouts that, the, you know, any 
like from the uh, the Celtics players making a shot, and then somehow the Lakers made a shot, and then you know it was just one of those type of moments where you just have to really be in the moment of just watching the game and seeing how the Lakers are been uh, are playing right now. And obviously the Lakers were just the much better team tonight, and um, obviously it showed. And I just hope that they just uh, keep this momentum alive. And you know with the added additions that the Lakers uh, made a trades. Uh, in the in in the trade deadline, you know, with uh, um, you know a couple of players, I guarantee you, with their shooting abilities, it will really help the Lakers uh, basically just manage the games. And obviously, with their help, possibly they will lead, help the Lakers win more games uh, with their abilities. Uh, and and um, it would just be really amazing to see what those two players will uh, bring to the table and honestly guys it was just a great game please comment down below give me your thoughts about today's game uh, what was the type of moments that you liked about uh, today's game was it Rajan Rondo shooting uh, that buzzer obviously for me uh, it was a little bit from from LeBron James in the fourth quarter shooting those threes and then at the same time with Kyle Kuzma in the final maybe 20 seconds left in the game him shooting uh, that three to take the Lakers into a one point lead and then at the end of the day I can honestly say um, the biggest moment for me also was Rajon Rondo shooting that buzzer beater to win the game for the Los Angeles Lakers against his former um, former team the Celtics and just obviously making a statement out there that he is still the same old player that won them the championship in 2008 with the help of Kevin Garnett and those guys Paul Pierce and it was just one of those one of those moments where it was just so, so surreal for uh, somebody like uh, Rajon Rondo to really achieve that type of um, uh, accomplishment and obviously it was just something that uh, he will possibly never forget and especially for Laker fans also who watched the game and witness a, a former rival player playing for the team that uh, is rivals with that particular team and obviously the Los Angeles Lakers dominated uh, against the Celtics team in a huge way so guys please comment down below give me your thoughts about it um give me your type of moments that you liked and uh which player really stepped up out there tonight uh i really like to know your thoughts opinions about it and i'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching go lakers what a great night i'm gonna sleep happy uh with this type of win against a a, a, a historic rivalry that is will still be in the history books as one of the most greatest rivalries in sports history. Peace.